Hang on. Um, so this video is probably like two weeks later than it was meant to be. However, um, I'm just on the way back from Sydney and I haven't been doing a whole lot of exciting stuff. So I figured I'll quickly um, add a little intro here and explain what's going on. Um, but basically all I'm doing in this video is making the intake manifold. Um, I, I didn't end up getting to, around to welding it up, which I will be doing this weekend. But like I said, I haven't posted in like three weeks. So I was like, I need to post something. Um, also, I'm probably gonna post fortnightly instead of weekly because I don't do enough interesting stuff to make a video every week, I've decided. And everything I post gets demonetized as well, which is awesome. I don't even, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I just swear heaps. So um, that's pretty much it, but enjoy. <laughs> this, like I said, this was meant to be posted like a week or something ago. So yeah. Sun has come out and I realized I didn't film a video at all last week. So um, this week I need to make my intake manifold. Amelia is currently coming up to the shed in her car so I can change a tire because one of them went flat. It exploded while we were driving the other day, which is not ideal. However, I've been putting off making the intake manifold for ages. I'm not too sure why. Ratchet is obviously very interested in where Amelia's coming from. But yeah, I just didn't feel like talking particularly last week either. So I was kind of like, ah, whatever, I'll just think about anything else. But as you can see, I don't think I actually checked these at all. <laughs> but it fucking did the thing that they do. Uh, it's pretty much on wires anyway. We got it with these tires, so that's not the end of the world. I've got the wheels with those tires. But I've got two new ones, so much to my dismay, I'm changing these over, and then I will get into making the intake manifold, which is all sitting there. So both tires have been changed in um, a surprisingly short amount of time. Normally this shit never goes my way at all, so that's a plus. Um, I'll get in the car and make this intake manifold. <laughs> Finally start making it at least. Here's the top plate to the intake manifold, with all the little egg-shaped holes. Um, and you can see it's essentially the same thing as this. It's just machined most of the way through, so we can fold it up as one piece. Backside's all nice, and this is like six mil i think six mil alloy um and then it's down under the headers here is the my two runners and the um the base so essentially i've got these all machined um or cnc'd up to be as close as possible so they're all pretty much the same as each other obviously gonna be a little bit of variance in it it can't be perfect sort of thing um but i'll clean all these up and the other thing i'll do is because if once this is all welded together it's gonna be impossible to get in here and probably in a lot of these spots. I'll clean up as much as I can before this actually gets welded together. You know what I mean? So they might just do might just do a couple tacks to get it all right. Like tack, 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 whatever. And then um, pull it back apart. So then grind the tacks off and then sort of sand everything. Cause I still, I, don't know, I think at this point, cause I'm losing a bit of motivation when it comes to polishing stuff, I might just end up painting it all. All black does look pretty cool. Um, so either way, that's not a problem for now. But for now, what I need to do is, yeah, like I said, clean all this up. I will need to make six or eight more, of eight of these essentially sort of thing, but there's one for each side or different ones for each side. But first things first, I'm going to clean up all the shit and the burrs inside here <clears throat> and then um, sort of fold this up as close as I can. But it's pretty straightforward because it's all 45, 45, 45, 45. Because it's such a long span, I'm going to clean that all up. Rather than actually do it in the, in the, like the pan break or whatever, I'm probably just going to put some soft jaws on the vice and actually do it by hand um, just so I get a nice sort of radius on the back there because I just sort of stood on it and um, I think that looks a lot better with a little curve rather than obviously once it's 45 it would be more than that but rather than like a hard edge from the pan break. But slowly but surely with no precise measurements I'm um, bending it up I think it's about right that's that is 90 degrees to that um, and there's about a 45 that's a little bit over but I can flatten that out later on um, I keep doing the other side. This is actually pretty tricky. Um, my eye, my gauging is not as good as I thought it was, but um, it's pretty cool. It's gonna look pretty sweet. It's gonna be basically the exact same as dad's one, <laughs> just staggered, but that's all right, because it works and he made that for a reason. So um, it's, gonna be all, it's gonna be all good. So I'll um, keep bending this up. Bit deceptive. I think this side's close. Um, that obviously is overbent. That's pretty well 90, but those two bottom angles where the runners meet are definitely completely different. Um, I think one side looks a lot more obvious than the other. I mean, super sharp. Yeah, so I'll have to do a bit of fine tuning, but obviously to square it up, I can always put it on the concrete and um, you know what I mean, get it nice and flat down here, but it's, it's a pretty cool little thing. It's cute, if nothing else. Um, 
but like I said, it's the same as the one on Dad's car. Because um, because it, it works. The only difference will be that top plate will be a lot narrower because um, the 8V comes to a narrower point at the bottom. I now need to find something that is a 45 so I can work out where I split the difference and which side I modify to um, suit because obviously it needs to be pretty fucking accurate. Um, it can't just be about this or about that. So I'll find something. I'm not too sure what, but um, yeah, there you go. That's essentially the shape of it. And I'm obviously going to make some front plates and still the top plate and stuff sort of thing. But you can see it's about the same width as the mount on the bottom of that. So, I spoke to Dad, I got some divine intervention. Um, the side that I thought was 45 was actually off, so this tighter side was closer to 45. So, what we've done is we've locked that in with three tacks. Um, fucking, it is weird trying to TIG aluminium. I've not really done it sort of ever. Um, I'm not good at TIGing in general, but obviously heaps of pano. <laughs> But um, yeah, fucking obviously got to get it fucking hot as hell. So I've done some big gross tacks to at least lock this side in. And I've sort of just bent that other side. I reckon I might need a hair more. But what we'll do now is I won't worry about these vertical bits for now. I'll um, get these two bottom angles where the runners are going to intercept it um, as close as I can. And then um, make four runners. And then actually sort of tack, 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 measure some stuff on the intake manifold, get it about right. And then just have a bit of a look at it and go, yep, cool. That's enough angle. Or maybe that's not enough angle or whatever. Then at that point, come back if it's good, continue on sort of thing. But it's a very slow process. Visually, um, that's pretty good. Obviously, don't worry about the tops. Same on this side, bit hard to film. Pretty good. Um, they are pretty close to 45 using this <laughs> as my guide, still by eye. But um, obviously, it doesn't need to be perfect. Just the top needs to be perfect that way and perfect along it. So for now, um, to get this all closer, you've got to get the base pretty flat and I'm going to make some runners. So the other two that I have are a bit shit, so I need to find the good tube and make four runners to start off with. I don't need eight. I just need to make two for each side so I can get all four corners right, and then once they're right, that's going to be when I make the inner four. Lots of work, but um, I'll make those now. You'd have a bit of PVC that was like a template for this, but I think it was actually a bit small, and I don't have any more PVC. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to make this without a template um in the end of the world i'll just mark mark get it close i can obviously make the top a bit longer um because i can always leanish that down afterwards but i've got all my stock in here behind a super rare merc side skirt that i bought when i was 17 um i've got a pair but anyway um i'll get these out now and i'll copy these at least i've got my templates and i would like to mark front and back like i have here just for continuity purposes but we'll see can't find the templates anywhere and I can't do it without them. Um, so I will make other templates. I could do either paper or masking tape. And I feel like masking tape is going to be easier because I do it all the time. Um, and it'll be sticky at least, so it'll stay on there. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Basically what I've done is I did do some marks on either side. I don't know if they're actually perfect, but either way, if I start at one, I'll come back to one. Um, so I did one just a hair off it and then I ended it just a hair off it and it was just vertical and probably 50% overlap. I should probably go around twice, but I'm sure this is gonna be fine. I will actually go around twice just so it doesn't fuck up. But um, then basically I just roll it on here, line one edge up and then around there after I've trimmed the edge and then I've got a perfect template of this essentially. Quite as well as I hoped and I'm, it's pretty slow. Um, the paper would have worked a lot better, honestly, but you can see what I mean. So it's, um, it's close, close enough I can get a mark for it. Like it, these weren't perfect anyway. I didn't make them perfect because they needed to be changed. This angle is more important. Um, it is all subject to change anyway though, so it's all a bit time consuming, but I'll do, I'll, I'll mark this one out, then I'll put the template on another one, mark that out, then I'll make a template for the other side, and I'll doop, doop, doop. And the reason I have to do this, if you see, so if I have my center line, say it's there, and then obviously the other side, that's one angle, and then the other angle, but they're both sort of like compoundy angles, if you remember from one of the other videos, so at least I've got a way of doing it, um, so I'll mark this one out. So these are all marked up, um, look, will be a lot easier to do now. Um, still pretty hard because obviously I've got to cut shy of this and then get it flat on the linear sharp on those ends. Um, obviously, I have to 45 before I weld it and stuff anyway, but that's good. I've made both templates. I've got I've got all these marked up. Um, some of the tape come off there, but I've got two fronts, two backs, and then I marked up the extras just over here as well, um, just so they're there so this template doesn't degrade. I need to do one more, but I'm kind of just like, I want to cut these. It's getting real cold. Um, but yeah, I want to sort of do this um, and at least get... Hopefully the base tacked on to the runners, um, tacked onto the inlet manifold. Also decided that I there's no chance in fucking hell that I'm polishing this. So, um, black's cool. 
even white, I don't know, something different. The car, I think I'll eventually do like candy red or something. So red and white could be kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Something different because I'm different. <laughs> and I feel like a white hat, white fucking blower and white. Obviously pearl white, like Toyota pearl white, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll um, cut these out though. For the sake of not losing my finger, um, <laughs> this is what it looks like after it's been on the bandsaw. I went shy of the mark this side. It did the thing where it um, went in a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. I'll just go to a majority of that mark. It does need to be on obviously the inside of that mark because that's where the tape butted up to anyway. Um, but that's your rule of thumb. You basically go till that mark's not there. Check, 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 check sort of thing. But the less you have to take off, the less hot it gets, the quicker the process is because you don't have to get gloves and fucking let it cool down and whatever. So I should be able to get this. I'll get it closer on the belt sander and then hopefully this is a bit finer. I'll get it nice and flat on this thing. I'm using the big flat belt sander thing because this is perfect basically. So I'll um, get some gloves because they do get hot pretty quick, but that's going to be a lot nicer of a finish. Um, and a lot flatter than what I had before. So I'll cut the other ones out and try not to lose a fucking finger. Um, and then I'll slowly chip away at these. So it should be a bit quicker than I thought at least. It is fucking got me. Um, I was pushing too hard and it fucking bit me, but that'll probably start bleeding like fuck in a sec. So I'll um, keep chipping away at this. I'm surprised I haven't lost a finger yet, but I'll be back. I got out of it pretty good. It's um, not getting much worse than that, but I've got one more side on this one to do. Um, but that's pretty good. These two are both good, done, I reckon. Um, knowing that I have to remake them, but it's just nicer alloy, so I'll make sure I use all the same stuff for it, you know what I mean? Um, so, where was I? Yeah, I'm just gonna do, no, I'm just gonna do this one on both sides, and then this one on just the other side. So this is cold enough, I can do it now, and then, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, it's gonna be a pretty cool looking intake manifold. Uh, um, this top side, the tops on the Passenger side ones are pretty pretty off sort of thing, so it's a bit annoying, but I've got this sort of generally spaced about right. I feel like once there's all of them in there, they'll sit about right. Like, it looks pretty fucking cool. The hard part's just gonna be, you know, getting all the all these angles the same. Um, yeah, I'm fucking definitely a lot more excited to sort of do it now, looking at this, because I think it's gonna be pretty fucking different. I've never seen anything like this, that's for sure. Um, from here, Obviously, lots of measuring, trying to get it about as level as we can. I think Dad said the best course of action is going to be get the front two about right and sort of tack, 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 tack. You can see what I mean about in here. They don't all sit flush, um, but obviously, once I get a tack on them sort of thing, uh, it'll be a lot easier to trim them down sort of thing. There's no reason why I can't tack, 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 and then fucking finish them all down sort of thing or just mark them again, get them close up. Um, but... Well, this looks pretty pretty fucking legit, I think, <laughs> if you ask me. But um, I'm not too sure now, the course of action. I, I, it's, it's all sort of precariously stacked there. I think it's, yeah, it's a little bit twisted at the moment. So um, the whole thing kind of needs to be more like that, maybe. But obviously, you can see everything moves. So how to do this, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not, not hiding the fact that Dad's given me a lot of help with this sort of stuff because, fuck, I would not know where to start with this. Um, but, you know what I mean? Um, and the other thing I'll have to do, obviously, is get these where they need to live and then linish all the extra casting off. There's a big lump there, same on that front one, and then the rear ones, I think, have it as well. Um, and just get the general shape nicer before we weld it on sort of thing. Um, but, yeah, fuck, it's pretty cool, <laughs> I reckon. Cool, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit stuck. Um, I'm also very hungry. Um, I'm also been super lazy lately, so I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, Jesus Christ, part of this looks real mangled. But anyway, um, I do also need to still finish trimming the black car, so I might quickly grab the pillars and cut some trim out and do the C pillars because they were at work last time. Looks like I've got a mono rare here. I'm kind of growing one, but it's blonde, so it's fine. Um, so I'll do that quickly and then see how cold it is in an hour's time when that's done. Because fuck, it's getting cold and winter's shit because it's already getting dark too. And it's um like four o'clock in the arvo. So I'll um take my pillars downstairs, cut some trim out, have some foods, and then quickly trim them out the back, probably on the deck, <laughs> and then put them in the car. And um, I still need to pull the other door cards off and put the trim on because that's still sitting downstairs and do the other armrests. 
but like I said, that's just like, this is this is how I am because I'm like this is my daily, so I'm not really fussed by it. But <laughs> I just washed my car and it looks sick, um, considering I neglect it so much too. Like this paint is pretty good. You can see ah, it's not as good as it was. I, like a little bit more orange peel came back into it. How do we how do we do this? There we go. It's pretty good though. You know what I mean? Like. Continuing where I left off because I didn't post a video this week So I'm pretty much just gonna have this intake manifold done in this video for once So me actually finishing something almost in a video is gonna be strange, but I'm back on it Obviously where I left off was five seconds ago But now I'm gonna make the other four runners and I'm gonna knock these little knurls off and uh, make some precise Precision marks and stuff to locate the front and the rear and I've got to center these on the ports best I can um, Dab was saying getting up in there is obviously gonna be a bit difficult because they're a rectangle port it's a round tube so porting it is going to be not really much of a thing so we might be doing some squishing and some stuff like that to try get these right however i'll make the rest of the runners before i get around to that and i'll clean this up and then once dad's back i'll be able to get a bit of a hand to sort of square this up and actually sort of tack it all together and work out what i'm doing up and thought i was being tricky but i cut in here and i cut in there so Hopefully, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Um, the weld will probably catch that, but I don't want to make two more because fuck, it's scary. But what I will do this time is grab some vice grips or something and a welding glove because fuck, I don't want to, I, I will lose a finger if I keep doing this shit like this. I didn't put gloves on. Um, I just came up with a better, less dangerous technique um, where I was, I was holding it up like this with two hands, grabbing it instead of just like this. Um, anyway, so I'd like to call it on some freestyle band sawing, but I got these pretty close. Um, I can need to work out which one's drivers, which one's passengers. I think it's pretty easy to tell, but uh, at least I've marked, I think I've marked the two drivers ones. Yeah, so these two are passengers. I um, obviously need to clean up all the edges, but I did try to get them a lot closer so they don't get as hot. Um, and I'm intact, I didn't get a little mark or anything. Nothing, which is good, so. <laughs> and now I got all eight of these. Um, the little cut didn't end up mattering too much. The weld's definitely gonna soak it up, so that's not the end of the world. They're fucking hot as hell, so what I'm gonna, I just filmed that bit in portrait mode. Um, anyway, <laughs> so there'll be one little weird odd bit in there. I'm gonna do now is get this as centered as I can. Um, obviously, happy as I can around the sort of port area. Um, it's a bit hard to sort of see slash tell. Around there, I might actually even, I might actually be able to put these like um, from the top to get it a bit nicer before I put these on, which makes a lot more sense. I can just make a template of this bottom diameter, sit it on there, know where it needs to sit sort of thing, do some marks. But obviously what I need to do as well is just sort of kind of clean up all this tang off here, um, just basically with the little power file or fucking finger file, whatever you want to call it, it sounds terrible. Um, but do that to all four corners. Um, clean up any other little nasty sort of thing, like maybe a little bit of the flash here. Um, I might just go around and mark everything that I sort of obviously want to clean up. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've got to let them cool down. So I'll clean some shit up here. Uh, maybe work out how I'm going to do all the porting because, again, it won't really focus, but... Um, come on. Yeah, you can kind of see there. Oh, you can obviously tell but they're all about the about the same sort of thing. So um, I'll get them as centered as I can and then actually pull these off. And then as you can see on that one, what I'm, what I'm talking about, what I can do is they're a fun, sort of funny shape. So I can sort of mark like this and what I need to die grind uh, slash linish out, get it a lot closer. That way it's going to be heaps nicer. Obviously I'm not going to be able to weld the inside of these, but with enough penetration it might... Anyway, um, obviously a small gap's gonna be fine, but it just needs the better. The better it is, the better it is. I have to work that, but I think I've come up with a good idea there by sort of porting them before I weld them on. <laughs> so <sighs> I could be cool when this thing's done. Um, it's been my biggest, most important project I've made yet. Everything else has kind of been irrelevant, whether it's perfect or not. Um, but obviously, and the rear end will test me when I get around to doing that because that's um lots and lots and lots of measuring, and that's very important. But Oh well, so far so good. Another, it's not really a tool, it's a it's a marker. You've probably all seen it before, but someone showed me, someone brought some to work once and um, they're fucking super cool. These ones are pretty shit because they're just from Timu. They were basically like a cents on the dollar. But essentially what this is, is it's a long nib marker. So I'll be able to stick this down the um, runner and I'll show you. So 
hopefully with any luck, this is going to be long enough to get down in here. Um, what do we got? Will this work? Not quite. It's not quite long enough, but... Anyway, you get what I'm sort of going for. I can reach down there. It's just I need to maybe hold it with. Um, nah, it's not going to work. Anyway, um, it was an idea. I thought it would work. These are really cool, though, because you get a real nice, fine edge, super close up to whatever it is that you're actually marking. Pretty cool. Um, all eight sitting there. Um, you can see, obviously, they're all a little bit gappy at the front, so the whole thing I'm pretty sure will need to come a little bit further forward, but then it's going to mess the other side up a bit. So I'll have to tweak it all a little bit. I think it's still down on this, up on this side. So a little bit of tweaking and stuff, like I said, but um, you know what I mean? These are all pretty good. This side, you can see those all a little bit high. So I must have had the whole thing crooked when I made these runners initially, um, but pretty cool. The other thing I will need to make is obviously some sort of gusset, um, sort of stabilizer, just added strength really. Um, and potentially, I don't know, something like between, I don't know, um, just something kind of cool just to, you know, add to it a little bit, um, add a bit more strength to it because I feel like even though this is going to be very strong, it is all leaning forward. So, and the, and the blower is going to, the belt's going to be here, obviously, pulling sort of down. So it's kind of, you know, it needs to be really fucking strong, I'd say. So even if we add a big, big brace at the back here, obviously the dizzy, dizzy sits in here and shit, but... Yeah, anyway, I'm just, I'm so, I get so caught up on that, looking at how stuff is because this looks pretty cool, but I'll keep going. So, obviously, as I discovered, no, um, these need to be sort of semi ported. Uh, I spoke with Dad and he said pretty much the same thing. Obviously, clean up these as well, maybe clean up all this sort of stuff. Obviously, the middle, I have to tack up these holes um, and probably maybe probably tack that up and just finish it as well because it's going to be really hard to paint anyway, but like I'm going to paint it. Um, clean up the shit back here, and there's a little bit of weld back there, just some stuff like that. Um, but generally, they're all going to be you know, same thing. They fit pretty good side to side and they all need to be taken out a little bit there. But it's kind of funny. All the runners are actually so random kind of anyway. Like this side all has... Oh, it's just opposite sort of thing. But you see what I mean? They're, none of them are really that great. So I'll just do the same thing to all of them. The die grinder, while it's apart, get it close. And then obviously I can get something back up in there. It's actually not that long. Maybe a drum after it's all welded up to sort of fully smooth it up and make it a bit nicer as well. Um, leave the injector ports and stuff. We'll probably put Welsh plugs in them or something um, in case we ever do EFI as well um, or, EFI, or whatever, um, something along those lines. But so far, there you go. It's, um... I've generally marked where I need to um, linish these out to. Um, I've marked also all the stuff that I want to sort of clean up and linish off before we go any further, um, like this and just all the obvious stuff that you're going to see. Um, it'd be cool to keep all the cylinder numbers, like one, three, I think I've already lost these ones. Oh, no, one, three, five, seven. Yeah, there you go. So they're all still there, but um, how well I'm going to be able to do that, I'm not too sure. So anyway, I will um, actually use the finger file. This guy's pretty good. Um, and I can get in there and sort of get them better, you know what I mean? Spat the belt on that, but I got most of this side done. Um, linished off all the nubs on the back, all four corners. Um, you can see I got them down to about there before I used the power file on them. And I got these all heaps better. I'll grab one of the driver's side. Yep. Um, and I'll sit it on there. I haven't actually checked them against it yet, but what do we got? Again, it's not really going to focus, but you know, that's heaps better. And the fit on the outside is lots better as well. It's closer to being round. Um, just generally, oh, how does it actually sit? I think it sits kind of like that. Anyway, um, obviously lots better compared against most of them. Um, this is not the last bit of this that's going to be done. So this is just getting it a lot closer so that it's easier to do from the bottom side once it's all done. Um, this back one's a bit ugly. That's where it spat the belt. Obviously trying to mow that shit out. But um, it's really funny to look at this and see the contrast from where I left it when I was probably 22. I think we did. I did this just after I got out of juvie. It's just something to do um, for another carb anyway. Um, I kind of left it here and then this is the same one that I cut all the thing off and cleaned up that long ago and um, obviously I just wasn't as interested then but um, already got these lots better I got all the extra flash off got these a lot rounder and nicer um, and I still kept that little flat section on the back so I'm trying my best to taper it from a round tube down into that little sort of flat-ish section which is kind of cool um, but yeah I'll put a new belt on 
probably have some food and then continue with the other side, but this is already looking a lot, lot nicer. And obviously get these out and weld them up while it's all apart too, but even cleaned up in here a bit. So <laughs> thing that I've realized I can do um, is color the whole thing in black and that and clean up all the burrs. And that also shows off a lot more of, you know, how much more there is. Um, I thought I was pretty close, but obviously rookie error, there were still all the burrs and stuff. Um, you can see there's still quite a bit. Obviously that's gonna be reflecting some of it, but there's still quite a bit more that I might need to take off, but it's also gonna start losing wall thickness pretty quick. So not sure how I'm gonna tackle this, but um, <laughs> just a discovery at least. So I'm gonna get some food and um, then come back to it. I did the other side. Um, everything's all pretty well cleaned up now. They're all opened up roughly where they need to live. Um, all the flash and the nasty shit's cleaned off. I'm just gonna come back over with the um, little drum bit on a die grinder to get in all these corners and make them a bit nicer. Um, and then pull these out and yeah. All right, so after a long discussion with that about torque converters from the white car, because it's totally unrelated to what I'm doing right now, but I want to get a converter now. Um, cleaned everything up, all the... Um, screws out so what i'll do is i'll tig up this hole have a go at tigging this up obviously it's pretty thick cast thing so i need to get a bit of heat into it these two front holes and then i've cleaned like i said i cleaned everything else up then i'll get the orbital over it all before i go any further and then i'll fully sort of clean up as much as i can before i tack these on just to make life easier um chances are that i'll probably end up welding these depending on how i go because obviously i can't really grind those welds off nor do i want to i want them to be good so i'm gonna accept that that probably is my skill cap but we will see how i go just had a lesson in importance of how clean something is um when i was torching it that little ring oil came out of it so i was like i cleaned it off and then i was like ah that's probably most of it that's that's fine um that just doesn't work like i physically cannot do it um it just i don't know it's just there's too much oil keeps pumping out of it like all the black soot and shit like it was super obvious and then i kind of like fucked up a little bit there but i got them flat flat so like i'll hit them with the thing over and they'll be they'll be fine i don't think they're super porous like i did melt them they're just a little bit ugly um if anything i was sort of going crazy with the torch and stuff but they're filled that's what matters um <laughs> like i said this is all filthy too like i did try clean it and shit then i accidentally lit like everything on fire too but um this will be fine for now i don't know what i'm going to do about this i'll try clean it again and have another go but i also might have been using rod that's way too big i'm not too sure whatever i just did here was probably closer to fucking alchemy than welding so i'm just gonna let this cool down because it is hot also gonna hide it from you um i promise i can kind of tig i just i don't know what's going on like dad said this is obviously super hard because it's cast and this is also dirty and it's super thick and there's a lot going on and it's like maximum foot pedal and this and that i just like try and run a little bead on something now to prove that i'm not fucking fully mentally incapacitated or incapable um but yeah i reckon i'll let this cool down for a sec i might see if i can just find something to try run a bead on just to prove my point i don't need to but i want to anyway to prove to myself to be honest that i'm not actually fucking retarded at this point but Okay, all right, I've gathered that the TIG is set up for like maximum current and it just blows that away instantly. So I'm not going to show you what just happened. Um, however, when dad's back, I'm going to get him to set it up so I can have a go because I know I'm not, I know I'm not this disabled. I did fucking like, I don't know if stainless is obviously easier, but I did like the whole stainless fucking exhaust on my car and it was not terrible. Um, Obviously, I just don't know how to set shit up, so. So, I've cleaned this up to a point where oh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, primer will get what I've missed. I've, I know that by now. I say that all the time. Um, obviously, the inside doesn't need to be perfect. You're not really going to see a whole lot of it with the runners and then the reinforcements and all that sort of stuff. Um, once you've got rails on it and all that sort of thing. But basically, what I've got to do now, clean it all up and then maybe try a couple more tacks on that top. So, I'd get Dad to set up the TIG because I fucked up before. Um, but... Yeah, I can probably start tacking it all together shortly, which is kind of cool. Um, obviously, you get all the texture and stuff off, but it looks a lot nicer than um, it originally did, considering it's a bunch of bananas manifold. <laughs> looks pretty pretty good. It's going to look better than it was. 